Hey guys, my name is Jack Tor and welcome to my YouTube channel. Ah yes, Venice, Italy, the city on water, full of gondolas, smiling faces, amazing weather and lovely sunsets on the crystal blue canals of Venice. Or so I thought, wait a minute, is this Italy or is this Manila, Philippines? Hey guys, my name is Jack Tor, and for those of you who don't know me, I'm a travel vlogger traveling the world. So come along with me today as we experience the Venice Mall here in Manila, Philippines. So g'day and good morning guys. Today we are at Venice Grand Canyon Canal Mall here in Manila in the Philippines. I am so excited to show you guys this one today as this mall is one of the most crazy malls I've ever seen on Instagram on Google from what I understand it is a really high-end mall with some high-end products So come along with me and let's check it out So we just walked past security and I'm just walking up to the canal now. Oh my gosh <laughs> Wait until you see this this is amazing Check this out What look how blue this water is Oh my gosh, they weren't lying when it said Venice Canal. This is very well done. Wow, this is so nice. Hats off to you, Manila. This is really cool. I haven't seen like architecture and, and design and something this nice since I was in, um, since I was in Singapore. This is really cool, so. Let's go, let's explore, let's check this out. <laughs> hey, <laughs> cool. <laughs> so they have quite a range of restaurants here in the mall. Um, really popular brands too, such as TGI Fridays, they have Japanese restaurants, they have Italian restaurant. Yeah, see here, TGI Fridays. We have that um, same brand in, in Australia as well. So yeah, this is really, really nice. It's really high end, you know, like this is something that you'd probably only do a few times a year if you lived here, but this is a really, really nice spot. Just walking over the bridge now. It's so nice. And it's really cool as well. Obviously it's probably just the weather, but wow. This is really, really an awesome spot to be. I recommend coming here. If you're a tourist, definitely come here. It's a great day out, great place to take the kids, take heaps of photos, take your Instagrams, and um, yeah, just enjoy yourself. It's lovely. Such a good atmosphere. Everyone here is so smiley and happy, and yeah, it's really good. So check out what I just spotted. I actually had no idea that, that these guys actually worked here and you could get a boat like this as you would in Venice. It also sounds like he's singing too. Wow, wow, okay. Singing, rowing, and a tour through the canal. So there's actually a whole green space here in the mall. It's like a garden. It is crazy. Like, look at this. Check out this palm tree. Look how cool that is. So yeah, it's just nice. Like it literally feels like Venice. Not that I've ever been to Venice, but I could only imagine. Hopefully one day when we get enough subscribers and money, I can take this channel there. So right now what we're going to do is go up and check out all of the shops that they have here. So let's go. So 
So this store behind me reminds me of my days when I used to work in a donut shop. For those of you who don't know, I used to work in the Dunkin' Donuts of Australia called Donut King. And um, I'd worked there ever since I was 14, about two to three days a week. And I'd probably earn about maybe $150, $200 a week. And it was great pocket money I was able to save up. And that sort of gave me the motivation to work harder and save for this trip. And even start this YouTube channel and actually the workers who I worked with back then I'm still friends with today so yeah it was a really good job I actually miss it a lot. So that's one thing I wanted to talk about that I noticed straight away when I landed in the Philippines was how westernized and almost how Americanized the Philippines is. There are so many American chains like Dunkin' Donuts, Taco Bell, KFC, McDonald's, the list goes on, Wendy's even. It's very, very Americanized and even the accents of Filipinos is very, um, very Spanish, obviously, but also very American. Um, when they speak English. So I believe that even the American um, school curriculum is um, partially here in the Philippines as well. Yeah, so it's really interesting the American influence has been had on the Philippines. Radio guys so that ends today's video if you enjoyed this one then drop a like and comment as well what your favorite part of the video was as always keep it real i'll see you in the next video cheers guys <laughs>